What is up my stream YouTube how are you all doing and welcome back to From The Death Where today we are on a development build. We are currently on the uh, 2.6 but this is our internal build. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a sneaky peeky preview of the whole strategic AI and a couple of other bits and bobs. So I do hope you guys are going to enjoy this. Um, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be pretty much just going up against the deep water guard on this one. Um, probably wiping them out. I don't think I'm going to be bringing too much of the combat in as we are going to be mainly focusing on checking out the AI, seeing what they're going to be getting up to, how the factions are going to be reacting and what they're going to be doing. So let us get this going. We're going to be going on a medium difficulty because that's how pretty much we sort of like agreed that, you know, whoever's testing it internally, we're all doing, you know, the same sort of like uh, difficulty. So we're going to be going on medium. Excellent. So the first bit of beeswax, let's have a look inside hither. As you can see, we've got a couple of things that are pretty different. The the whole menu here has been laid out differently. It's, it's um, the idea is it's sort of like your workflow when creating a new construct creating a new construct you can go first you know you're going to be going if it's a vehicle fortress or a structure so you're going to be going into there first then you got your structural blocks methods of propulsion and all of that good stuff i mean before you can make a turret if it's unless it's a spinal mount a turret you're going to end up putting down you know the turret block itself and then its components so yeah that's pretty much you know how the layout has changed over here and uh, we do have some nice coloring going on <laughs> as well so yeah um, over here in the blocks, in the blocks we do have a couple of new bits and bobs that I have uh, put into the game. Um, we do have these slope tra transitions, so you know if you have like a, a one meter, let's just pop down a, a one meter slope here. Oh dear, yes, okay, fair enough mate. Mate, eh? Right, we have a one meter slope here, and then let's say on your construct you have a two meter slope, and you're like, god damn it, why isn't there a thing in the middle that we can, you know, smoothly go from one to another? And there you have it. It's, uh, yeah, a sleepy transition. So we have those from uh, 1 to 2, um, 1 to 3, or 1 to 4, uh, 2 to 3, 2 to 4, and obviously, you know, 2 to th a 3 to a 4. So we got those as in, in uh, currently. Unfortunately, right now, I don't have the wood in the game. We, we have everything else except for the for the wood because the wood is implemented a little bit differently. But anyways, um, what else do we have? Do we have anything else? Anything else here? Uh, not yet, but I do know there's going to be a couple of new shapes for the whole wings, but uh, they're going to work pretty much the same as our current wings. They're just going to look a bit differently. Okay, so with that out the way, let us pop down some stuff. Okay, so over here, as what you can, what you're seeing is, I just quickly changed up the refinery setup. What I've done is, I've every, think of it like this: you just need one cracker, uh, four of these over here, and one flare, and that will give you um, about 15 fuel for one material, or 14.9. And so I doubled up on that, so we've got two flares, and just pretty much doubled up, and now we have, you know, uh, nearly 30 fuel for, uh, per two material. And uh, down there, I just stopped a couple of empty, empty fuel and another cargo thingy, you know, container just to gather our, you know, store some more materials with. So that is that sorted out. We're going to come out of there. We don't need to look at you anymore. <laughs> like a soap. Now, over here, before we get to the whole map stuff, let's go to our buildy thing. How much is that? 393? Yeah, forget it. Uh, 89 and 316. Okay, so we're going to make one of those for now. And there you go. As you can see, it just popped up there with a with an unhappy face. <laughs> it's an unhappy face. Uh, two little X's and a, you know, a little sad face there. So we've got that. Let's bring it down here. Let's uh, get that going. Like so. Now, as you you will see, when this thing gets built, it's going to be built with zero ammo, zero fuel, zero materials uh, on board. So what we are going to do here is we're going to quickly pop into this guy, into the resource tab over here, and we're going to say, look, just take from our fortress for now this is also going to end up being our supply vehicle but for now we want that to get stocked up on the ammo and fuel and we're just going to say 
keep about 30% of materials on him. So what's going to happen is he's going to collect 30% of materials from our fortress. Our fortress is set to keep normal levels of pretty much everything. Um, I don't see anything really wrong with that. I mean, we could lower those for sure. So this guy is going to end up with 30% uh, of uh, materials on board. And then afterwards, once we capture this location over here, uh, we will then tell it to force take. And by force take, it's going to fill up all of its storage, uh, even though its procurement level is just at 30%. Anyway, we'll get into that a little bit more in a mo. I'll bring that over to this, onto the full speeds. So this is the map, the current status of the map. Now the map, um, I believe that we still have a couple of bits and bobs to add. The Nickers last request. <laughs> Very good. So we have a <laughs> like, what is that? Okay. So we have another resource uh, location over there. As you can see, we have um, the 351,000 in reserve. So what's happening is every resource node is pretty much taking from a total pool of resources. Okay, as you can see, we have 24 growth per second and all of that in reserve. They're all pretty much differently. Eight groups, eight growth per second as, you know, nearly 700,000 in reserve. So what is happening is they're taking a percentage um, from the, the pool. As you can see, their benefits is 1.7 of the world's material replenishment. And what is happening is when things get destroyed, um or you know ammo used and all of pretty much all the actions that that is going on building destroying uh creating fuel creating ammo and all of that it is also putting back a percentage of the materials back into the pool so what's going to happen is when we destroy a construct on hit we're going to get a bit of resources on the construct's death it's going to leave us some resources to collect so let's say, I don't know, let's say it's like 5% of those resources. And then the, the rest of it is going back into the pool where it will then be split up into all of these resource nodes. Now, I've probably confused things a little bit, but um, we definitely will go into that in more detail further on down the road. That is for sure. So I just wanted to sort of like roughly go over that. Very roughly go over that. It's, yeah. So, you know, numbers are probably not set in stone either. But yeah, there you go. Uh, the other bits, oh my god, you've already started putting putting the stuff down, you horrible nasty deep water guards. What have you done? You have, All right, so they've put down two blueprints. Uh, they're both at 0% currently. And they should then send some numpty to go and build them. So let's go and see. So he's going to go pick up some resources from the deep water guard resource base tier 3, which is that one over here. Uh, picking up resources as soon as outpost you are picking up resources from over there that is a thing wait no more please to capture zero four zero four is this over here so they're going to go and attack the onyx watch uh waiting on more fleets to capture zero four very nice indeed okay so that's what they're doing so currently these two are waiting for um a builder or a trade fleet which has you know the repair uh, tentacles on it to go and you know do them very good the other thing that you're going to notice or that you've already noticed is we no longer have the um, fleet strength on tiles that is because all of these tiles unless there is a thing and uh, you know on it it is empty so currently these are all empty that doesn't have a fortress there for now but the blueprint is there so yeah but currently they're all empty Yes, it is owned by the Deep Water Guard because as you can see um, over here, oh crap, as you can see over here, we have this blue line. This blue line is just indicating the border of the Deep Water Guard's territory, which is also hidden on the white, white flayer's territory. And in order to capture, all they need to do is, I mean, unless there's a unit there, they have to attack it. So let's say in this example, there isn't a unit here. Um, and they send a, co a construct over here. It's going to have to wait there a couple of seconds or a second or two as we're on times 10. And there's going to be like a capture progress uh, percentage going up. 
until it gets 100% and then they've captured it. Okay, so as you can see over here, we've already had a bit of action with between the White Flyers and uh, our good friends over here, the Steel Striders. These guys are really, really giving it to each other, you know, a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of action happening between these two, these two factions, that is for sure. Um, as you can see over here, so what are you doing? Wait no more fleets to capture 611. There's a couple of, you know, units there to also, you know, capture 611. Uh, you are transporting resources. Let's see, are we going to actually see one or two things trying to repair this uh, blueprint? Group in a capture. Group in a capture. Really? Oh wow, okay. Well there you go. Group and capture oh group and capture two five, so he's gonna go for a different tile. Okay then. And you group and a capture. Fair enough. So they still haven't sent something to build these two up just yet. Um each faction I believe is starting with one uh one construct which will probably, you know, end up, you know, transporting goods to the main headquarters so they can, uh, you know, build some more transporters to gather more resources to then go out and then build on uh, available resource nodes. So hopefully we can see someone getting into a fight. Okay, so over here we do have a bit of a battle about to start. Let's bring the uh, speed down, please. Thank you. Alright, so let's come over here. So these guys, these are about to battle it out. We have an Iron Pelican and a Pulsar. So let's just zoom out just a little bit. Okay, so now they're blockaded. They should have started a battle. Uh, fortunately, we cannot spectate just yet. Um, I do believe we're going to have that feature at some point. But I mean, obviously, you know, it's not a very important thing to have currently. I mean, we have to get down the whole strategic AI is uh, a little bit more important. <laughs> okay, so he is at 98, 97. Pulsar is going down to 70. 95, 94. And Pulsar is now gone. Excellent. So there you go. He's got some, he's left materials behind. And the rest of that, the rest of it went back into the pool pretty much and then got it will get then it will get divided amongst you know the the um the resource nodes how is our sub doing our sub is uh, he's got 5000 materials on and what i'm going to do is for now i'm going to tell our sub to get actually full of material just this time round because we want him to go out and we're going to build you know a little uh, mining place over there. Okay, so when you actually click on a construct, whatever it is, currently I just clicked on the Davy Jones outpost, and you're going to be seeing this. Now, this is saying, like, I just want to, the Davy Jones outpost, he wants to keep that 80k uh, worth of ammo, and everything else is extra. Whatever is extra, that means that anything that passes by to go and restock or rearm and whatever, he can give that amount to whatever comes, you know, passes by to restock and refuel on. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what this extra cargo, you know, means. Pretty self-explanatory, though. Um, yeah, we've got the usual bits and pieces, the clear war and all that good stuff. <laughs> a little, a little like in there. Um, some artsy stuff, very nice. And yeah, the usual. Okay, so these are sort of like the victory conditions. Destroy your, destroy the factions headquarters of all the night factions. Doing so will ensure your domination of night. Now, so for currently, currently it's pretty much kill everything to win. Later on, with the whole diplomacy and all of that good stuff, um, there's going to be other win conditions like you know alliances, you know forging alliance with everyone, for example, or last man standing kind of deal. Uh, obviously, you know, you'd have your alliances as well, but, and all of that good stuff. Uh, there's going to be quite a lot happening with the diplomacy, but I'm not going to be getting into that today. Uh, we'll be getting into that at another point for sure, because, you know, currently, you know, things are still just being sketched out on that. Okay, so it looks like we have a load of white flare units over here just waiting to waiting to go on attack. So we have a lacerator, a lacerator, what else? A dragon's claw, a lacerator, sin eater, dark hammer. And a lacerator, and they're still waiting for more to go and do what exactly? Capture 611, um, I believe it's probably that right there. Yeah, let's just zoom out. 6 and 11, yeah, exactly. So their group went up to go and attack. 
This fortress over here, the Iceberg Logistics Hub. Very good. Looking forward to see that happening. Now, currently, we have the Fog of War open in development mode, okay? In the development branch, we have we don't have any Fog of War. Obviously, uh, later on, you know, once it gets released properly, wow. once the update, you know, hits stable, um, yeah, there, there's going to be the whole Fog of War and all of that good stuff. So another thing with the whole diplomacy thing, you know, one of the other ideas is, you know, making friends um, with them with a certain reputation level um, will allow you to see what your ally is, you know, seeing on the map as well. So that's another one of those, you know, another another idea that was uh, put there during the meeting. So the Deepwater Guard and the Onyx Watch, they are, you know, trying to have a go at each other. Well, this is the, you know, yeah, here, here, here he comes. Moving to capture. So he's going to try to take some territory from the Deepwater Guard. This one is going to try and capture some territory from the <laughs> Onyx Watch. Oh, crapness. We also have a thing right under my goddamn nose and I didn't even notice this. My, what, 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 how did you all decide to come and attack me, horrible nasty things? Could you please bugger off? Wait, no more fleets to capture zero, zero. Seriously, man, you don't need more fleets to capture zero, zero. You can just come and capture zero, zero without any more fleets. Um, <laughs> let's just go over there. <laughs> and uh, sort that thing out before it ends up uh, screwing me over on this playthrough. Okay, so I'm going to try to go and get rid of those guys. Don't know how much, if I will be showing all of that combat or not. We should just have to see, you know, how things go. But I am going to be recording it, that's for sure. Over here, these guys, I know they do have a little bit of territory, but there is something planned and installed for them later on down the road. So don't be worrying about that because they don't have a lot of territory and don't have a lot of uh, resource nodes and all that good stuff. <laughs> I attacked them once and they're like, yeah, nah, let's go and uh, pick on the Onyx Watch. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Um, righty. Oh, wow. These are one whole group. Excellent, so we have gotten rid of those, uh, the rest are running away and decided let us go and attack the uh, Onyx Watch because this guy here is just too much for us, he is just too epically, <laughs> epically awesome for us. Alright, so let's have a look over here after getting rid of that. Okay, alright, so finally they're getting this thing sorted out, so as you can see they sent a, fa a Fankel team to uh, come and build. The Sinus Outpost over here is currently at 32%. So yeah, don't pay any attention to this. This is less, you know, they're moving stuff around pretty much and about, you know, sort of like the resources that are left behind on the, on the map and how much um, said unit, you know, picked up from it or didn't pick up from it. Oh, yep, I'm going to get rid of that and uh, put down a little uh, base for us. Actually, I'm going to wait for their supply vehicle to come along and I'm going to get rid of that and that at the same time because that is how we like to do things. Excellent. So with that out of the way, let us quickly run over this leeway. We still have a lot. Yeah, we're still, we're still good with the mats. Very nice. Over here we are, a little submarine here is chillax, chillaxing there. Well, what is the Deepwater Guard up to now? Now the Deepwater Guard, they have moved up here with a Jacob's Corn, uh, Vanguard, and I'm not a Vanguard, not a Vanguard. What are you actually all doing? You're going to capture zero four, so they're still trying to capture this. What is happening at the top here? Oh my god, that is a hell of a lot of white flare stuff happening. Very nice. So the last rate is uh, Dragon's Claw. What are you all doing? Go on a capture. Okay. Oh wow, that's a load of stuff over here. What do we have? Dark hammer, dark hammer. Another dark hammer, another dark hammer, another dark hammer. Okay, well now. <laughs> the AI is going to be seeing like how 
how much um, between you and the AI, let's say if there's like a, a million mats, uh, how much has you and the AI or the Deep Water Guard, you and the Deep Water Guard, how much have you destroyed in comparison, a ratio between each other? So if you are higher, then it is going to start to produce better constructs, better, better, better vehicles. Okay, it's sort of a very, very basic way of trying to explain how they're going to be doing things. The the AI, it's a very basic way, but obviously, you know, there's going to be a better post, better write up on uh, everything uh, later on once things are a little bit more in place, a little bit more concrete. Excellent. All right, so down here, what I've done is I've just built up a little harvesting platform. Just to gather uh, what remains in this sort of like resource zone. So we've got all of that in reserve. Very nice. So we are now gathering that with this guy over here. What I'm going to do is um, let's just scroll up. This is the next part of the whole resource sort of like managing thing. A little bit of a tip, a little bit of a, you know, hopefully it's going to be a bit helpful for you good people. So over here, we're going to go here and righty. So you're currently taking from, we are going to say give to, and we're going to say force take from there. So we're force taking from our new little harvester. So force take, what that means is um, if we set our procurement level only to 30% uh, on the submarine, what are we at? Okay, so currently we're at 100%. So let's say our procurement level is, I will keep it, we'll say 20, okay? So force take, he is going to take as much as as much resources as possible that he can actually fit on the current construct, even if it, as it, it's going to go well past, you know, your procurement level. So we've got that sorted out and we're then saying give only a normal, a normal give. So pick fleets to give supply to the normal give. He is just going to give uh, all the extra uh, materials that the submarine has on board and will hopefully keep. The twenty percent on board. So hopefully uh, that was a bit clear. Right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say um, pretty much just go close to our little resource zone. I mean, you don't have to be that close, but I'm going to put it there. And then I'm I'm holding shift right now, and I haven't let go of shift since I've clicked on 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 our resource zone over there. And while still holding shift, I'm right mouse right click there. So we've set up another waypoint and then I'm going to go all the way back again once more and I'm just going to click right in the center of our waypoint here still holding shift so I have not let go of shift and like that and like that it's going to set up an infinite patrol sort of like route backwards and forwards taking material from there and bringing it and putting it over here. So that is one way how you set up uh, your patrol -y stuff and things. Okay, so what I've done is I've just renamed this guy. Uh, actually, I've renamed the fleet name. It's the fleet name that you need to sort out. You just I uh, changed it to uh, the sub pack supply. And that is because for the next bit of beeswax, you know, it's going to get a bit confusing as I'm using the same unit. So over here, we have one of my defending uh, constructs. Okay. Uh, we're going to pop into here and we're going to say, look, I want you to take from our supply vehicle as well, um, a harvester as well, okay, and pretty much stay full on everything. Actually, no, we don't really need him to be full on everything because he has a lot of cargo space. Um, so we're going to keep it like that. Excellent. And I'm going to do the same for this guy. He is, um, we'll put him there. He is not a builder. He is nothing, you know, he's just another defending construct. And we're going to say, you know, take from there, take from there, and take from that. Excellent stuff. Okay, so it looks like the battle has started over here. So we, the they have the Sin Eater and what else, what else? A Lacerator. I don't, are they all at it or is it just a Lacerator? Well, that is the question. I mean, unless they're not... Okay, yeah, so Dragon's Claw is also in the... No, it's just the Dragon's Claw? It's very strange. Okay, note that both of those were in the same battle there. And that one as well, so yeah. Okay. Excellent. So yeah, they're defending, they're repairing. These guys are 
attacking Jesus <laughs> like really attacking my god dark cameras all of the dark cameras in the world so the AI should I don't know if it's currently in I don't think it is but the AI should form up fleets it should be able to add and remove constructs from fleets as well in future at least if it's you know not currently uh, happening But they are for sure, you know, attacking. They are, you know, losing stuff. Excellent. Wow, he has totally defended against all of those Dark Hammers. Now, I don't know if they were all in at the same time or if it was just one by one. I'm not too sure. That is a question that I'm going to have to ask, you know, the rest of the team. So I will most definitely, you know, hopefully remember to put, you know, the answer to that in the comment section below. Okay, so with that thing out the way, we also now are going to be with a little surprise attack from these guys over here. Oh wow, they are all coming down here. They want blood. They want our rear end. They want this tile. We are not going to let them have this tile. I know I have this guy here set up on a patrol, but we can most definitely defend this area with him as well, like so. <laughs> Very nice. Excellent. And that is revenge for making one of my submarines at the land and uh, being an absolute nuisance. <laughs> it's not my fault I hit the land, god damn it. <laughs> Excellent stuff indeed. Righty. Let's have a look over here. So, Deep Water Guard, they're sort of like retaliating. They are being, yeah, they're getting a bit aggressive now. They're sort of like circling around and getting towards us after us liberating some of these tiles. We're going to come over here and hopefully we can repair this guy. And hopefully we can gather some of these materials to uh, sort of like build it, a lot of it at least, and try to get down... A little harvesting place down there. So what is happening? Well, as you can see, Deepwater Guard here is sort of like circling all the way er, er, to this little place, to us. Um, Lightning Hoods, they're still chillax in their territory. These guys, they're sort of like still all out. Uh, Twin Guard have been uh, kind of chill as well. The White Flyers are still trying to get rid of this over here, my god, the amount of times they have tried to attack, or the amount of times they have sent units there. Uh, can we see how much... Oh wow, he is at full health as well! Excellent, excellent. So we're gonna be get rid of, we're gonna be getting rid of these guys uh, with this submarine. This submarine was, was our supply, uh, our transporter. Excellent, so we got rid of him. We're going to take out the rest of these. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep on bringing you guys back in saying, oh yeah, I just took out that, took out the other. Um, but I'm going to keep on uh, having an eye, see, you know, keeping an eye on things, seeing what they're getting up to. Back up here, these guys are still at it. They're still, you know, having a three-way going on over there. And down here, it looks like they're still grouping up once again with a wrecker and a sin eater. Another Wrecker and a Dragon's Claw. Probably about to go and try to get rid of that once more.
Alrighty, so we are now at the headquarters of the Water Guard. Um, yeah, so obviously this is still a work in progress. There's still supposed to be the strategic locations that will be going on the map. So there's going to be like um, bonuses to like ammo production or fuel production and some other some other things like that. Um, so, so there's plenty of other features and functions that still have to get, you know, created in-game currently. So this is sort of like, this is the first step for the, the whole strategic AI really. Um, so yeah, so just don't think like, what is that it? Because it's totally not. There's a hell of a lot of things yet to come for the strategic AI and quite a number of bits and bobs, you know, need to be ironed out, uh, from the other, uh, factions and other constructs as well. So yes, in future, there will also be, you know, the, with the whole diplomacy thing, um, let's say if a faction gets rid of another faction. The faction that they have gotten rid of will end up sort of like surrendering to them and they will become a slave or enslaved kind of thing um, with that faction. So just think of it like they're an alliance, right? And um, this is just so that, you know, the player will always uh, run into all of the factions. So at no point, you know, will they just get wiped out off the map and you will never see them or never see their constructs. So that's another thing coming with the whole diplomacy thing, but that's going to be happening, you know, further down the road, obviously. I mean, currently we're still in the first, you know, the first stages of the whole uh, strategic AI things. So there's plenty, plenty uh, more to come with uh, the whole strategic AI. Okay, so it looks like the Onyx Watch are starting to, you know, move in onto the Deepwater Guard. They're attacking a patchwork, or they're going to be attacking a patchwork. So that's literally an attack order, instead of, you know, capture the tile. This guy, he's still moving in to do repairs over here. I uh, don't know what you are up to, but you're probably grouping up, I am assuming. Down here, it looks like we have something moving back. Moving to capture 4-1. Oh wow, you've already got rid of that as well. Well, you are. Wow, you are. Uh, yes, good, good, bo good boys indeed. But down here, the looks like that's it for them. Uh, the trade fleet doesn't know really what he wants to do. Um, over here, Onyx Watch, they're moving in, and they will most probably attack this fort over here, the Sinners Outpost whilst passing by, I am assuming. So yeah, if I mean, we would really need to go down here to capture that before the Onyx Watch does, so we can, you know, keep that resource zone to ourselves. Onyx Watch is now attacking the fort, I believe. Or attempted to, and uh, probably got destroyed. So yeah, as you can see, you know, there's quite a bit of ironing out it, uh, get to be done uh, with the whole strategic AI but I do hope you guys have enjoyed I do hope you know this has given you like the first sort of like steps uh, towards the whole strategic AI thing I mean the the bulk of the uh, coding is sort of is there now and now it's just pretty much building on and improving uh, and ironing out what they currently have so yes, hopefully you guys have found this interesting. If you have, please remember to smash that like and subscribe button. Like there you money. If you have any questions or would like me to try to uh, show something else off or have questions, you know, um, I'm going to probably, after editing this, put this on the forum where you guys, you know, should really leave your questions there so the devs can actually, you know, look at them uh, properly because they're not going to be looking on my youtube or anything like that and uh, they for sure you know will try to get back to you and if they don't i will <laughs> it's, it's pretty simple so yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed um yeah hopefully i've uh, given you guys you know a decent idea of how the whole strategic guy is going to work or you know this is the first step the first step of it at least so for now my team teams i'm going to call it here hopefully you guys have enjoyed so take care and i'll catch you all on the next one